This is Todd Gustafson, hardware engineer with C-Level Systems. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of the Quadrature encoder on the Relio R9 embedded risk computing system. In today's demonstration, we will be going through the components of the application, a brief Quadrature encoder overview, how to connect the Quadrature encoder to the R9, and the software basics associated with the Quadrature encoder. This demonstration will feature a 12 volt DC motor, a Quadrature encoder, a Relio R9, and CPAC R9. The R9 family of embedded risk computers is an application ready platform. The R9 family is perfect for embedded applications because of its small size, extended temperature rating, and flexible I.O. connectivity. Today we'll be using a standard optical encoder. This has two output channels, A and B, that are 90 degrees out of phase. The channels may be read by a quadrature encoder to detect the direction and speed of a shaft. A separate output index, not used today, generated from a reference point on the shaft, can be used to count revolutions or to reset the counter. Next we will be going over the connections for the demonstration. To connect the encoder to the Relio R9, I have first pulled up channels A, B, and index with 2.7K ohm resistors. This is because I'm using open collector outputs from my encoder. If you, your encoder has 3.3 volt signals, you may not need to do this. Please reference your encoder manual. Channels A and B are connected on the Relio R9 as well as the ground connection. Power is tied into the encoder, in my case, 12 volts. To connect the motor to the Relio R9, I have used an open collector output, which I will be controlling through a PWM in software. The Relio R9 is attached to the CPAC R9 through C-Level's expansion port, which provides the power 7 to 30 volt DC along with RS-485 two-wire connection. This, this provides power and data to the CPAC R9, which I am using to display the output of the encoder. The software used in today's demonstration is based directly off the example code provided with the R9 system. Using the Talos API, you can set up and read from your Quadrature encoder in less than five lines of code. Talos offers a high-level, object-oriented .NET compact framework device interface, which provides an I.O. abstraction layer with built-in support for your specific I.O. needs. You can see the system functioning here. The Relio R9's Quadrature encoder monitors the rotations on the shaft connected to the motor. This data is passed back to the CPAC HMI system I hope you've enjoyed this application video on using the Quadrature encoder on an R9 RISC computer. If you have technical questions regarding any C-Level products, you can contact our applications engineers at support at c or give us a call.